Welcome to Excel Deploy. In this video, we'll look at how Excel Deploy works with Apache Tomcat. First, let's review the steps needed to do a simple deployment to Tomcat. You start in the bin directory under the location where Tomcat is installed. Here, you can execute a command to stop the Tomcat server. Then you go to the web apps directory, which is also located under the Tomcat home directory. This is where you copy the WAR file that contains the application you want to deploy. Finally, you return to the bin directory and execute the command to start the Tomcat server. And the deployment is complete. Tomcat also supports more advanced deployments to virtual hosts. Virtual hosts allow you to deploy multiple independent applications to a single Tomcat server. They also provide better support for shared application resources. Excel Deploy takes advantage of the virtual host feature. In Excel Deploy terminology, the virtual host is a middleware container where you'll deploy an application. Let's see how you would do a simple deployment to Tomcat using Excel Deploy. Everything that you define in Excel Deploy, from applications to infrastructure, is a configuration item. A configuration item's type determines the properties that you can set for it and the way that Excel Deploy will deploy it. So you define your Tomcat server as a tomcat.server configuration item type. It contains the properties of the server, such as the directory where it is installed, and the stop and start commands that you would normally execute manually. Then you need to define a configuration item for a virtual host. During the deployment, Excel Deploy will create directories for the virtual host under conf. For example, if you use Tomcat's default Catalina engine, and the Tomcat server is running on localhost, then the virtual host will be created under conf slash Catalina slash localhost. During deployment, Excel Deploy can optionally create an XML file in the virtual host directory. This file contains information about application resources. You specify this information when creating resource configuration items in Excel Deploy. While there are several different configuration item types for resources, the most commonly used type is tomcat.datasourcespec. The XML file's name identifies which WAR file it corresponds to. In Tomcat terminology, this is called the application's context root. Excel Deploy copies the WAR file itself to the web apps directory. The configuration item type for a WAR file is tomcat.war. In Excel Deploy, your application is contained in a deployment package. This package contains the WAR file, data source specs, and any other artifacts or resources that are needed. In Excel Deploy terminology, the artifacts and resources in a deployment package are called deployables. To recap, here are the tomcat.server and tomcat.virtualhost configuration items, and here are the tomcat.war and tomcat.datasource spec. Excel Deploy puts the data source specifications in the XML file for the virtual host and puts the WAR file in the web apps directory. When you set up a deployment, Excel Deploy maps the WAR file and the data source spec to the virtual host. These mapped deployables are called deploys. In the properties of the data source deployed, you can see the values that Excel Deploy will put in the XML file. And in the properties of the WAR file deployed, you can see that the context root will be set to the name of the deployed, which in this case is Pet Clinic. Now let's deploy the application. First, Excel Deploy stops the Tomcat server, so I don't have to do that manually. You can see that I've added a custom wait time of 5 seconds to give the server enough time to stop. Then, Excel Deploy adds settings to the virtual host XML file and deploys the WAR file. Finally, it restarts Tomcat for me, again waiting 5 seconds to be sure the server has started. And the deployment is complete! For more information about Excel Deploy and Apache Tomcat, visit our documentation site at docs.cblabs.com.